Hey, Mike Cahill here with Cahill Golf here in Palm Springs. Uh, for this video, uh, we're going to talk about chipping, kind of your standard chipping method. Um, I know I have a couple other videos up for specialty chipping methods. Um, today, like I said, this is just going to be your standard chipping method, method when you have uh, you know, a 10 and beyond foot chip um, that you're going to use. Uh, really, the goal of this video is to show you how to lag it. Um, now, lagging is something that you're going to use in your full swing to generate more speed. It also gets your hands a little bit more in front of the ball so you have con consistent contact. That's really what we're looking for here in chipping, um, doing a little bit of a lag. And this is very similar to if you've ever seen Mickelson's hinge and hold technique. This gets the same thing done. So you're getting in uh, to the impact zone with your hands a little bit in front of the ball at impact. So again, our goal here is to have consistent, solid impact chipping. If you ever have any trouble sculling your chips um, or going under them, fluffing them up, anything like that, this will help with it. So first, um, let's talk about what a lag is. Okay, so a lag is lagging the head behind your hands. So I'm just going to slow this down and I'm just going to do it with one hand so you can really see it well. So I'm going back and as I start my forward movement, I'm soft enough in my hands where this is going to lag behind my hands. So real slow, you can see that it's lagging behind my hands. And it, it, when I get to impact, my hands are actually that far in front. Okay, so I'm going to start slightly in front, go back, and then as I go through, this wrist is soft enough to let this lag through. Again, consistent, we're looking for consistent hands in front of the ball at impact. So before we start, I would start just doing a little drill and starting with one hand on your club and just try to let yourself have a soft wrist. Okay, and we can even go ahead and hit a couple balls just with one hand and letting that wrist be really nice and soft to kind of just get the feel for letting that club head lag behind your hand. You'll notice with one hand it's pretty easy to do. So as soon as you're ready with that, let's go ahead and put two hands on and just take a couple practice swings feeling that weight of the club head. This is all about feel. It's not something that you can do forcefully with your muscles is just hold it in place and go through. We're going to be in real big trouble if we try to do that. So we want soft hands, soft wrist muscles here, forearm muscles, and just really let that club head lag behind. Okay. So if I go to my normal setup position, I'm not going to go into setup right now today or anything like that. I'm going to just go into my kind of standard setup position with the ball right in the middle of your stance and just practice letting that club head lag behind. I just want you to see how that club head just nicely stays back every time I get good solid impact by lagging. Okay, so um, on our last video or the last clip, um, we saw that we are kind of starting to get the hang of lagging. It's all about feel. It's getting the feel of letting the weight of that club head stay back behind. So as we go through, we're not trying to push our hand through. We're just letting that club head lag behind in it. Like I said before, as we get to impact, hands are in front because that weight of that club head wants to stay behind our hands. If we have soft enough hands, that is. So now, um, as we kind of get better at this and we practice this a little bit, um, we can do a couple various things to either hit a little bit lower or a little bit higher, um, depending on what kind of shot you're looking for. So real simply, um, let's, uh, let's take a look at how we're going to hit a little bit lower. Um, so now if we're trying to hit a little bit lower, real simply, all I'm going to do is just put it back in my stance. Okay. So back in my stance would mean if you're a right-handed player, back off your right heel here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this ball back off my right heel. I still have my hands in the center, and I'm just going to do my same leg here. And I notice that the ball comes out pretty low and runs a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to do that one more time just so you can see that. Hands in the middle of the stance, and I'm still just going to leg it, and it comes out nice and low. Okay, now um, just for a real simple change. We're also going to try to hit a little bit higher, okay? So, and this would be higher than, say, in the middle of your stance. So we're going to start with our normal grip with the face going straight up and down. And now all I'm going to do is turn my club head open and re-grip it. So I still have my normal grip on there, but all, all I've done is open my face, okay? Now, depending on how much you open it, you're going to hit it higher or lower, okay? Now, all I'm going to go do here is just put the ball in the middle of my stance 
But again, I'm going to do the same leg position, leg exactly the same way, and you'll notice ball goes considerably higher if I need to land it on the green a little farther and not have it roll as much. So I'm going to do that one more time. Same setup, ball still in the middle of my stance. I have my face is opened, regrip with my standard grip. And again, I'm just going to do that same exact leg. And what I'm going to get is a much higher, softer landing shot. Okay, so for the uh, last installment of this video, um, we're, we've gotten better at lagging. We've practiced that. We've practiced hitting a little bit higher, a little bit lower. Um, now I want to talk about uh, when we get to, a, say, a downhill lie. Um, and for a lot of people, these lies can be really tough to get it on the green and have it stop relatively soon. So it's not just scooting all the way across the green. Um, now, you may have heard before some people talk about trying to get your shoulders um, in line with the hill and putting the ball in the middle of your stance. I, personally, I hate that method. Um, one, because it's going to lower our ball flight already, so it's just, it is going to hit the green even if we hit a solid and go all the way over. So what we want here is a higher, softer landing shot. On, uh, and this is a pretty substantial downhill. If I, you can see if I just touch this ball, it's going to roll down. So we're on a, quite a substantial downhill here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is we're just going to change our setup a little bit. Um, and we're going to do the same leg that we've been practicing. So um, earlier in the video, we showed you how to hit it a little bit higher. Um, that's something that we're going to want to do, again, because we want to have a higher, softer landing shot on the green. So what I'm going to do first is just open the face a little bit. We already know how to do that. Same grip as our normal grip. We don't turn our hands open. We've just opened the face, regripped it with it open. Okay. Now, once we get to our setup, what I want you to do is just go ahead and put both feet together. Okay, so I'm not going to have a big, long, wide stance like this trying to tilt my shoulders. I'm just going to put both feet together, and I'm going to stand pretty much straight up. Okay, I do have a little bit of a knee bend, but like you see, both feet are together. Okay, now, as I take my stroke, and I'm doing my leg here as well, I'm watching where does this club want to meet the ground. Okay, so I can even start in the middle, and you notice if I take my stroke, this is a good 14 inches behind where my feet are right here. Okay? And you notice, every time I take my stroke, this club head wants to meet the ground 14 inches. So, real simply, all I'm going to do is put the ball right where the club head wants to meet the ground. Okay? So, you notice I put the ball 14 inches behind my back foot here, 12 to 14 inches. I have a little bit of an open face, and now all I have to do is just do my normal leg. And I'm going to hit it really nice and solid, and it's going to land really nice and soft. Let me do one more. We'll go through it real quick. So if I'm setting up to a downhill lie, I'm going to take a couple practice swings on this slope, watch where it hits the ground, put the ball in that position in my stance, and then just take my normal leg swing. And I hit it solid and soft every time that way.